Today we're going to talk about exquisite focus crystals and how you get your hands on them because it's recently become a lot easier. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. Exquisite focus crystals have long been known to only be given out by mission rewards and it also seems like passenger missions are the type of mission that gives the most of them so in theory all you have to do if you want to get a lot of uh, exquisite focus crystals is to run as many passenger missions as you can as quickly as possible so note here that the object here is not to get the highest paying missions but to complete the missions as um as quickly as possible so if you want a high pay you want something where you have to travel a long distance but if you just want a lot of, crisp, of exquisite focus crystals, and this goes the same for uh, module terminals for, the, for that matter. But if you want a lot of exquisite focus crystals, you ha just have to complete the missions as quickly as you can. And luckily, uh, with the, uh, I would say luckily, but with some of the recent events that's happened, especially in the Pleiades sector, that has become a lot easier. Because if we now open up our galaxy map here, and we go over to the star map, we can go here to the last tab where we can select what we want to see and we now have new two new types we can uh, select here we can select show damage station which is not selected by default and repairing stations now repairing stations at the time of this recording is not um it's none of them at the moment but we have damage stations and these are stations that have been attacked by thargoids so i should say this is recorded a few days after the attack on the stations in the Pleiades sector. So I don't know if this is something that's going to be persistent. And if these stations are going to um, gonna stay here. And if they are going to keep offering rescue missions when they are attacked. Um, so remember that these will change. But if you go in and select these and you can find these stations. You can see we have three of them down here in the Pleiades sector right now. You go to these systems. Um, there's a very good chance that you can go and and, uh, and do what I'm about to show you. But just keep in mind, that this will most likely change as these stations go into repair. Then we'll have to see what they will then request. But for now, go for the damage stations, um, which are stations attacked by Thargoids. And once you're then at the station, you're going to get yourself a passenger ship. So as always, when we're running passenger missions, get as many um, passenger cabins as you can. I would really recommend a shield because we're going into a burning station there are stuff exploding left and right and you will take damage if you get close to an explosion so fit a shield and also remember to fit your four tons of cargo as you can see here my inventory actually have some from my previous missions have your four tons of cargo so you have somewhere to store that also make sure that your data capacity you have a decent amount of data capacity and material capacity because of course if you don't have it too bad and all you really do then is you go into the passenger lounge and these are pe people trying to escape from the station and we're going to try and help them. But we are to look first mission for modular terminals, which is also a module that has been known to be pretty difficult to get your hands on if you're going to unlock Marco Quint. And let's move on down the list here. And you simply just go through the list and you look at what type of materials, um, what sort of materials they're offering. And if they offer what, uh, what you're looking for, you take the mission, and if you don't, well, you can either leave, the, there's more module terminals there, you can either just leave them, or um, more module terminals, wow. Um, here we go, modified embedded firmware, also something that's uh, that can be a little bit difficult to get your hands on sometimes. Um, so you just, yeah, look for the type of mission, look for the materials you're looking for, and, uh, and then take the missions. I'm just going to find a few here, and then I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay, I just found my uh, my first mission here, and you can do as you are used to. You can go board hop from uh, um, solo open, solo private, and just jump back and forth and back and forth. We have one here, you see, it offers two exquisite focus crystals, so we're going to pick that. I should say you only need um, economy class cabins to do this. Um, it seems like... Uh, uh, more modular terminals. It seems like uh, people here are not really that picky when it comes to what type of, uh, of cabin they are getting. Um, and also you can notice here it will actually say on the mission if they offer materials you can see the mission here for instance does not offer any materials it only offers a cash reward but this one here it does offer materials and it also says so here on the actual mission so you don't have to open every single mission um, but you can just scroll through them and find what uh, what exactly uh, you're looking for 
Once either the mission board dries out and you don't feel like you get any more uh, new missions, I recommend you just fill up with the missions that are there, because they're all going to the same place, which is... It seems that the station will always have a rescue ship, and again, we have not really seen that many iterations, so this might change in the future, but right now, at least, right outside the station, two, two megameters actually only, there is a rescue ship, and we just need to ferry the passengers there, hand them in, um, and this is why this method is so efficient, because you don't really have to travel that far, you basically undock, super cruise, and within 10 seconds you're ready to drop out at the rescue ship, get people there, um, hand in the missions, and then you go back, rinse and repeat, um, and get a new set of missions. So again, this is very, very good for getting both the Crystal Focus Crystals and Modular Terminals. And another more small note here, um, oh, see, there's the explosions I talked about, this is why you carry shields. And there's another one. Ow. And also, as you can see here, bring a heat sink, because it is quite hot in here. And uh, your ship will overheat, so it's a good idea to bring a heat sink so you can uh, can maintain that heat um, at a reasonable level. So there we go. We're now outside the station, nice and secure. So now we just have to get outside the um, outside the mass lock, get to the rescue ship, hand in the mission, and start all over again. It's really that simple. I hope you liked this video. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel, and I'll make sure to keep you updated if this changes in the future. Like the video if you liked it, and until next time, I'll see you guys in space.